Now, Sam pivots from theory to blueprint in the next few minutes. He lays out a personal practical strategy for integrating solar and battery storage, one that reimagines how individuals can reduce grid reliance and reclaim energy resilience. This isn't a startup pitch or a policy paper. It's a system level sketch grounded in reality and shaped by experience. A reminder that meaningful design doesn't always come from the top down. Sometimes it begins at home with what's available and with plan to scale. I actually wanted to give you an idea of my solution with solar and batteries before we move on. Imagine, sure. imagine, right, that you have a factory powered by solar primarily. So their energy costs are lower and they are utilizing some cheap, cheap iron flow batteries potentially for energy storage or sodium batteries for the energy storage. So quite cheap yeah. energy. That's the cheapest form of energy right now. Let's say that factory was in uh, San Diego or Texas somewhere where it's very sunny, somewhere where it's, you know, sunny days 95% of the time. So the output of your renewables is very high. So the cost for your electricity would be much, much lower than a new, anywhere powered by nuclear or wind or anything else, right? Now, imagine that same factory is using robots to manufacture its solar panels, right? No humans involved, robots, just robots. Then the cost of those robots will continue to, to drop as our AI gets better. Could that be the pathway to this cheap, abundant, solar and cheap abundant batteries the, obviously the robots will also make the batteries in the battery factory powered by batteries and solar is that the solution 